Today I'm going to be playing Colt Express, the character of Doc. And Doc is a great character with a great ability, lots of flexibility. And I'm going to show you the way I like to play him here on Legendary Tactics. So Doc is a, a very easy ability to play. And I, for that reason, I generally recommend Doc for a beginner player. Uh, I think Doc is a... Uh, uh, gives the, a new player the opportunity to um, just have more cards in hand and uh, that is a, a very simple uh, ability you don't need any special skill to play it well and uh, unlike uh, Ghost or uh, maybe Bell and so uh, it's a really great um, ability for a brand new player um, Doc represents flexibility in everything and in many cases as you can see with my hand you're gonna have options all the time you're always gonna have things that you can be doing so I'm I'm planning Cheyenne's gonna knock some uh, uh, some loot out of my hand as I can see I'm gonna just uh, do my best here um, to try and strike back there's a bunch of punching going on and uh, I'm gonna go for the uh, uh, the gunslinger bonus but I, I like usually if I'm going to be shooting, I like to be on the roof because it gives me the best uh, range of options typically. I just need one player up there. Uh, I don't need to be next door and um, I can fire down the whole length of the train, which is really valuable. So so Cheyenne's going to take the uh, the jewel. Ghost is going to move towards the uh, jewel and I'm going to take the, the loot here. And this is where um, I got uh, uh, a bit in trouble because Cheyenne's going to just steal that right off me in a sec. Um, Belle moves in with uh, Ghost, which is very smart play on her part, um, staying uh, protected. And uh, Ghost is going to keep on moving. Now I punched the air because I was hoping at the time that someone might be there, uh, still maybe collecting loot or uh, doing whatever. Um, but both of them are, both the uh, Ghost and Belle are moving up to the front. Bit of a risky play with the Sheriff right next door, but, uh, and especially through a tunnel turn with uh, face down cards, but. Uh, whatever. So Cheyenne's following me around here, and uh, I grab some loot. Uh, Bell um, is very kind and punches Ghost away from the sheriff, uh, which was very uh, generous. Um, Cheyenne though um, runs uh, up to the up to the roof. Uh, Ghost punches the air, which is always a, <clears throat> a very dissatisfying uh, situation whenever it happens. And I'm gonna again head to the roof. One of my goals with Doc, because I've, I've got more cards in hand, I want to take advantage of that. And one of the ways that is an indirect way of taking advantage of that is going for the gunslinger bonus. Because, and I got lucky here because Ghost decided to pop up on the roof of the train um, with perfect timing. Um, <clears throat> the goal for Go for Doc is is because Doc has seven cards to work from, um, not only does that give him flexibility, but by uh, shooting the other players and giving them bullet cards, that gives them the, you know, some hand management problems to compound their, their lack of flexibility. <clears throat> now, as you can see here, I was, uh, you know, I was first to play or, or, well, after Ghost anyway, but I was able to play before Cheyenne, so I know I can um, even punch <laughs> before she runs away and uh, knock that jewel out of her hands, which is uh, going to be valuable. Uh, there's lots of people up on the roof right now, um, so I'm really thinking about the uh, uh, the gunplay, but I'm also watching uh, the... Um, I need to double-check my, uh, my plays here, make sure that I'm doing it right. Um, there's nothing worse than wasting a uh, shooting card, uh, because especially when you're going for the gunslinger bonus, you need to make sure that you are getting hits mo you know, most of the time. I only want to maybe miss once in a game uh, because sometimes the competition for that bonus can be quite uh, strong. But I'm basically banking on there being someone upstairs uh, for me to uh, shoot. And that's why, again, if you're going for the gunslinger bonus, you want to hang out on the roof generally. Um, gives you more targets. So um, now we'll see how this plays, plays out. Ghost is going to run around try and maybe get at that strong box um, i'm gonna take care of that jewel and uh, uh, i think i'm gonna push uh, cheyenne back to the uh, back of the train just uh, limits uh, her movement a little bit 
Um, Bell is picking up some more money. She's doing pretty well that way. Um, and uh, Cheyenne moves over top of the car with the jewel in it. So um, that uh, is perfect for me because Ghost uh, decides to shoot her in instead, <laughs> which is great. I, uh, I grab the, uh, the jewel. Um, so everything is working according to plan so far. Um, so again, um, looking to worsen the hand management of your opponents uh, is, a gr I think, a great move. Now, uh, I don't know what Ghost was thinking there. Hopefully, I imagine maybe thought that uh, uh, the Sheriff would be moved. Uh, but uh, he ends up taking two bullet cards, one from the Sheriff, one from me. And uh, I'm going to head back downstairs where I'm a little more sheltered from uh, gunfire. Um, I really do not like taking bullet cards in this game. It's one of my, my pet peeves. I, I like having uh, workable cards at any given stage. I know it's pretty much impossible, especially when you're in a game as chaotic as this. Um, but I'm going to run away from Cheyenne in this case by myself. I got a bit of time here. Uh, Bell's, uh, you know, going to move over top, but I've got myself a little bit of time here to uh, to do some looting. So and pick up some of those money bags. So uh, moving on uh, very quickly to round three and look at that hand. That is about as flexible a hand as you can possibly get. Now, I'm not going to move the sheriff because I don't want to open things up for ghost. Going to want to want to protect that strong box. And I can see the bell is coming downstairs. So uh, unfortunately for her, there's a, uh, <laughs> you know, a knuckle sandwich <laughs> waiting for her. Uh, but I think the uh, the the great uh you know, thing of this game is, you know, if you can plan ahead uh, at all and just kind of, you know, figure out what the options are. Obviously, the tunnel turns uh, cloud that somewhat. Ghost's ability clouds that somewhat. Um, but if you can plan ahead with Doc, uh, I found in, in, in this game and other games with Doc that the tunnel turns don't matter that much because you have so much flexibility. Um, so you've got so while it's always valuable to play cards uh, face down, you know, although arguably it's the AI should know all as it's running the game. I'm assuming that it looks the other way. Uh, but playing cards face down aren't integral to Doc's strategy. Uh, again, because you can't count on the other players having the cards they need at the moment they need them. And uh, we always assume that they do uh, when we're playing, especially new players. You always just assume, oh, you know, someone's moved into that space with a strong box. They're going to be able to play a card and and pick it up but that's not uh, necessarily the case and a lot of times people are hamstrung by their hand and especially if they've got a lot of bullet cards which is why I love uh, the gunslinger bonus you know if you're if you're gonna go for it um, especially uh, with Doc or uh, well it really you can with any character if you go the the most valuable shots are gonna happen at the uh, at the beginning of the game because those bullet cards have a chance to come back time and time again and, and mess with your opponent's hand management. Um, if I take a bullet in round five, honestly, I'm not sweating it too much. <laughs> that was perfect for a bell. <laughs> and punched, punched Ghost into the Sheriff and then uh, Cheyenne inexplicably uh, moves the Sheriff back to guard the strong boxes and Ghost gets his revenge for, for that move. Now, it may have been, honestly, that uh, Cheyenne just didn't have the cards to um, move downward and, and to loot and wasn't taking any chances. Uh, so you can see even now she's running away. So the Sheriff is in control of two strong boxes in the car. But I'm very happy where I am. I just wish I had some more cards to loot, and I don't. I've got lots of great movement, and and great opportunity to move well ahead in the uh, uh, in the guns for the gunslinger bonus. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to uh, bank on the fact that there's going to be somebody above uh, above the train. Uh, there's Cheyenne going downstairs. Ghost is still moving around. So um, there's an opportunity then for me to uh, continue to um, to shoot. And uh, although I'm going to move in this case, I'm going to see if I can maybe engineer uh, getting into the locomotive on the last round and steal a strong box or two. I'm feeling pretty comfortable about my position. Ghost is not having a good game, uh, but uh, Cheyenne, very good competition. Even Bell is only one, uh, uh, one or two uh, 
bits of loot away from uh, really hurting me. So now because of the uh, the penalty at the end where you, you go to the uh, caboose, I played a movement card, so I had to play a movement card to go back into the train. I didn't want to lose the ground that I'd, I'd uh, gained. So going up here um, and then moving, you know, I don't want to be pushed back to the caboose again. It totally undoes everything that I was, you know, and just basically just wasting turns. So, um, so with uh, with this here, um, there's a bit of moving around. Uh, they seem to be just kind of milling about, um, but I managed to get uh, Cheyenne there. Um, and again, it's not as effective in round four, but uh, when it comes to the gunslinger bonus, um, that is uh, is well worth fighting for. And uh, so I'm going to move ahead. Uh, I want to stay away from these jokers as best I can. Uh, unfortunately, it puts me close to the sheriff, uh, but we'll see how uh, things um, work out here. Now, Bell uh, punches Cheyenne, who drops the, the gem. And uh, that is... Uh, great for Belle, so she's going to be my toughest competition, I think. And uh, I'm going to move down now. Um, fortunately, um, there were no sheriff cards played or anything like that. And we move on to the last, um, the last round. And again, I haven't taken a single hit, so I have no bullet cards in hand, which is, uh, again, just a perfect uh, situation. Now, I... I don't really, I don't have any looting cards, so that's the only problem. So um, my play at this point is to protect the strong box and to make sure that uh, no one else uh, can get at those. That's really the only thing at this point I think that can be a game changer. Uh, the gunslinger bonus is still up in the air at the moment. Uh, Ghost is is uh, in a move and you can see he's looking to shoot somebody, so he's going to look to tie me. So I'm going to want to try and uh, do what I can to um, you know to get that uh, gunslinger bonus so I'm just having to think here and trying to you know figure out okay what do I want to do I, and and again ultimately I do want to just protect the locomotive um, I I'm I'm up pretty well in in money at this point um, and I got a good uh, shot at the gunslinger bonus so um, I just want to protect the uh, the goods um, I'm gonna, um, but I like moving the sheriff. I'm hoping to catch someone off guard who might be um, tempted to move up uh, to the uh, second car there, and maybe I can force them out of the way. Um, and then um, basically just hoping to get a, a shot. Hopefully someone's upstairs at the time, and uh, I can uh, get uh, one more. I just need one more shot. I've only seen one uh, ghost um, maneuver where he is shooting. And so um, I'm gonna get out of dodge there. Now Cheyenne's loading up on uh, loot. And look at that, Ghost uh, totally flubbed that one. Luckily I got out of the way. Um, now my, my rule here is just protect those strong boxes. Don't let anyone in. Um, and it looks like people are gonna be out of time anyway. They're not gonna be able to go up and around the sheriff uh, to uh, at this point to get it. Um, so. Um, but again, it's always fun to uh, set up uh, chains. And if you do see an opportunity to take advantage of, knowing my last card is, uh, is a sh shooting, sending the sheriff in to uh, push Bell onto the roof. Or heck, even Ghost. That was perfect on Bell's part. Nice hidden maneuver. I love playing the sheriff as a face down card because it's something that people cannot plan on and they have to really as almost assume that you're going to play the sheriff card. Now everybody's up on the roof, but I'm happy uh, to to get Bell. Bell's always uh, tough to uh, to hit, and I've locked down the gunslinger bonus. Uh, at this point, uh, no one's above the sheriff. Uh, well, I guess Ghost is, but that doesn't uh, doesn't matter at this point. Uh, so because he, he doesn't have any loot and so we add up the final scores and I hope this little walkthrough gave you uh, a bit of a sense that Doc is a is a very straightforward uh, uh, character to play but the flexibility cannot be beaten he is uh, just an amazing uh, character character to play to give you lots of options so thank you so much for watching this is legendary tactics